Hello and welcome back to simplifying expressions using our index laws. So this video is going to look at a whole bunch of questions with fraction and division of terms with indices. So I recommend that you pause the video and attempt these problems um, before checking out what the answers are. So let's do it. So it says simplify using various index laws. All right, so let's do this seven to the eight. I'm going to rewrite that division sign like this. So we stop writing the division sign like that about in year, year eight, I think. So just rewrite that division sign first and allow you to see it better. Seven to the power of eight. It says simplify, not evaluate. So I'm just going to keep that there and look at how I would simplify this new, this denominator. Sorry, forgot how to talk. So seven cubed squared. So that's power raised to a power. Look at our index laws, which one of that one might apply. I can see that it's this one, right? You multiply the powers. And then let's have a look. Seven to the eight. Let's make that a bit simpler on the denominator. Seven to the six. Now, when we divide, so that fraction sign means divide. When we're dividing terms with indices, look at what a law might apply. Dividing terms with indices, we subtract the powers. I'll just move that up a tiny bit. So this is going to be rewritten as seven to the eight. And if we bring that power up, we're taking it away. And then if it said evaluate, you would just write 49. But yeah, simplified. We've condensed all those indices to get to seven squared. So let's move to the next one. Okay, over here. T squared to the four on T cubed. With fractions, simplify on numerator, then simplify on denominator. So on this numerator, we've got a power raised to a power. And that's when we know that we multiply those indices. Okay. So just multiply those indices. Simplify on this next line. T to the eight on T to the three. Now just one thing left to do. If we're dividing terms with the same base, we subtract the powers. So that's law two. T to the eight, bringing that power up makes it a negative power. T to the five is our answer. Let's power on through. Okay. Now what I might do, I might just cover that up so as not to overwhelm us. With fractions, simplify on numerator, then simplify on denominator. So I'm focusing on this first. I'm ignoring that M to the four now. All right. When we have a pair of brackets, no matter what it is, we raise each number in the brackets to that power. And that I think is law four down there. Raise each number to the power two to the three M cubed to the three. Now I'll just write this extra step in actually M cubed to the three N cubed over, oh, getting messy over M to the four. Simplifying that numerator two to the three. And then if we are, if we have a power there, if we're power of a power. Remember you multiply those powers. Just take it in a lot of steps, as many as you need to. Now, two cubed, two times two is four times two is eight. Eight M to the nine, N to the three on M to the four. We are getting closer. Now we've simplified all we can on that numerator. Now it is time to have a look at this, uh, how we can condense it further. Okay, I can see that the indices with the same base are those. So I can bring that M to the four up to the numerator. I'll show you what I mean. We subtract those powers. If we are dividing indices with the same base, subtract the powers, law two. And, uh, oh, 
I'll drag that down. Oopsie doopsies. Make it a bit simpler. Nine take four is five. So that's what that one simplifies to. 8m to the 5n to the 3. It just takes lots of practice and then it'll be automatic, okay? I promise. Let's check out this. And yeah, let's go. So again, with fractions, simplify numerator, then simplify the denominator, and then, you know, look to your look to your little rules with division to simplify further. Let's go. Simplifying on that numerator. All right. Now, lots of operations going on on the numerator. Why am I drawing in rectangles? Bid mass can guide us when there's lots of operations. So bid mass means expand those brackets first, raise them to that power because it's brackets and indices. So I'm going to ignore that three out the front and just raise everything in the brackets to that power. So I'm going to have two squared raised to the three, C to the four raised to the three, D to the five raised to the three. And then it looks like I've just put in a whole bunch of extra brackets, which I have, but it's just to show you what sort of laws we're going to be applying, particularly that power of a power law. All right, now let's simplify these horrid brackets here. If we've got a power raised to a power, we multiply the powers, remember? So this becomes two to the two times three, and then C to the four times three, D to the five times three. Okay, all right. Two C D squared to the four. Well, while we're here, actually, we can we can raise the power on the denominator. So everything in that pair of brackets has to be raised to the denominator. D squared times four, which is like power of a power, yeah, times that. All right, let's check it out. Let's make it a bit simpler. Two to the six, C to the 12, D to the 15. Getting closer and closer to an answer, just step by step. Now two to the four, all right. I can put that in my calculator. 16. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that there and evaluate at the very end. So two to the four, C to the four, D to the eight. And on that numerator, we can expand further and just bring that three out the front. So what have we got? Oh. Actually, what I will do, I will, I'll make that two to the six, two to the six, 64. And I'm gonna rewrite two to the four down here, just, just to save myself some space because I'm running out of space. So two to the four is 16 on the denominator. And now, all right, brackets. You just wanna focus on getting rid of all those brackets first. And there's a little invisible multiply sign there. So get multiply those coefficients to get rid of it. That's as simple as it is. 192, C to the 12, D to the 15, over 16, C to the 4, D to the 8. Okay, I'm going to bring this down. I know it looks hectic. But it's okay. I think we're just one step away from the answer. Now, this one has a fraction out the front. How I'm looking at this is I'm separating all of these, separating the variables and the coefficients. Now, this fraction sign means divide. I'm going to put in my calculator 192 divide 16, and that gets me 12. Okay. Then I look here and I've got, I'm going C to the 12 divide C to the 4. When you're dividing, you subtract the indices. I'm bringing that number up. And if I want to bring the D to the eight up, I've got to subtract that from 15. And just one more step is to simplify those powers. 12 take four is eight. D to the 15 take eight is seven. And look, you look really smart if you do this. 
Okay, it's all good. All right, simplify using various index laws. Here we go, P on Q to the three. Now this is actually introducing this law down here. Okay, P on Q to the three means it's, it's quite similar actually to law four. Any number raised to the power, any term needs to be raised that same, same power. It's just easiest if I show you. So we're going to raise P to the power of three and we're going to ra raise Q to the power of three. And that's it. So get your head around this law five. A on B to the M is the same as A to the M on B to the M. Raise each number outside of the inside the brackets to the power outside. Let's keep going. 2M to the five on N. Okay, that means the numerators raised to that power, the denominators raised to that power. And we've still got a little bit of expanding to do. So 2m to the 5, looking at this numerator, this is actually going to be, remember we raise each number outside of the brackets to that power. This is, let's have a check. So 2 is raised to the 5 and m is raised to the 5. Or over n to the 5. And we can't simplify the variables any further because they don't have the same base, but we can write 2 to the 5 as a number. So we've got 32 M to the five, N to the five. Okay. And I believe, yes. Okay, good. I'm going crazy with letters and numbers swirling around my mind. Last slide. Let's cover up this guy. Okay, crazy times. This is all being raised to the power of three. So I couldn't work out how to how to format that but let's try it out so we've got this whole number being raised to the power of three in my head i just see what a big blur raised to the power of three and i know that the numerator must be raised to the power of three the denominator must be raised to the power of three that's how i expand the bracket so let's just write it negative three x squared y to the zero cubed over this bit cubed. So when you've got brackets raised to a power, both the numerator and denominator are raised to that power. And then I'm looking at simplifying the numerator first. Negative three cubed x squared cubed All right, oh, I'm just gonna put a bracket there. X squared cubed, Y to the zero cubed over five cubed, A to the five cubed, B cubed cubed. All right, now simplified de numerator, then simplified denominator. Let's try it. So in brackets, negative three cubed into my calculator is negative 27. You must put your negative in brackets in your calculator and then raise it to the power or it can ruin the whole thing. All right, so 20, negative 27 times X to the, and we know our power of a power rule is this one. So I'm just gonna write it straight away. Two times three is six y to the zero to the three. So zero times three is zero. All right, and then I, I'm thinking about my zero power law, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Five to the three, 125. A to the, okay, we multiply the powers. Multiply the powers, three times three is nine. And I think we're quite close to an answer. So in my calculator, I'm just putting in negative seven divide 125. But yeah, that's as low as you can get it. You can't simplify it, that numerator anymore. And we've got X, Y. So let's simpl simplify this numerator. 
y to the zero, any number to the power of zero equals one. So we can just leave that out. Times one is the same thing, right? Um, I'll bring this down very close to the end. Uh, denominator. Hmm. So a to the 15, b to the 9. Final question. I'm going to cover that up because I don't like it. Let's check it out. Hmm. I'll just cover that right up, actually. That's not going to work. Okay, very final question. Let's check this out. We've got, we have this number raised to the three, this number raised to the two. And there's lots of operations going on, but we have bid mass to help us. Bid mass. I'm going to get rid of these guys. They're annoying me. We're enough to see them again. Okay, bid mass. Brackets. So let's just focus on expanding these brackets and we can multiply them later, but it's fine. Okay, so this number raised to the power of three means numerator raised to the power of three. Denominator raised to the power of three. Oh, see, it can get tricky. You can get fatigue from doing this. On c to the power of 3 times ac to the 4. That's squared. Numerator squared. Denominator squared. Focus on each fraction separately, expanding the brackets. Okay, looking here, a cubed b uh, a cubed B all cubed means each number is raised to that power. And I think that's this law here. Law four. Okay. A. Mm, I'm going crazy. A to the three times three. Since you're raising that to the power, you times the powers. B to the three. Over. Why does that keep happening? Okay. Um, over a to the nine, b to the three times everything raised to the power, a squared, c to the multiplying the powers on b squared. And let's simplify a bit by just doing these operations that are in the powers. Three times three is nine B cubed on, ah, that's a nine. A to the nine B cubed times, if you're still watching, very well done. A squared on C to the, uh, C to the eight on B squared. Focus on each fraction separately. Okay, we've gotten rid of those brackets. Very nice. Now look to cancel, okay? A to the nine on A to the nine is the same as, it actually cancels, which is great. So let's just do that. A to the nine on A to the nine is one. B to the three on B to the three is one. So all we're looking at is this, which is nice. That's it. That's actually the answer. A squared C eight B squared. And I think that we've all had enough today. So I'll see you when I see you. See you later.